calculus teachers, you can use GeoGebra's freehand shape tool to sketch your own functions, like shown here. GeoGebra calls it a freehand function, as you see there, but now we can challenge our students to sketch the derivative of that function. So let's think, what does derivative literally mean? Well, instantaneous rate of change, we can think of it as a limit, which it is, but we can also think of it geometrically as the slope of a tangent line uh, to a point on it. So we'll use the point tool to plot a point here. We'll use the tangents tool to uh, plot a, a tangent there. Just touch, select the tool, touch the curve, then touch the point. Turn the tool off by selecting the move arrow, and you can see we can move this around. Again, GeoGebra treats that hand sketch just like a function. We can make a table of values, we can transform it, we can do a lot with it, right? But let's get the slope of the tangent line here. We'll just select slope and touch the line. And now, let's actually take that point there. Now let's actually start plotting points we think lie on the derivative, or seem to. Right, so directly right at this x value here, like negative five point something, notice the slope of the tangent line is almost negative two and a half. So I'll go down here and kind of try to plot it right there. Now select the move arrow again. Let's just go up a little. Let's go, let's go along the curve a little bit. Negative one here, roughly. So I'll go down directly below it. We'll plot an output of negative one. You see what I mean? And so now we can have students intuitively working with derivatives, uh, negative one half, um, as uh, shown here. Again, the graph we're sketching is not going to be perfect, but um, again, the whole that we're just looking for a general intuition uh, here. So now let's see if we can get the some critical numbers here, right? This looks like it's almost zero. The derivative is almost zero right about here, maybe. Maybe a little bit to the left, right below it. And so now we're, uh, this, the derivative is positive again, and it looks like, uh, let's look for that point of inflection. Uh, we have a slope greater than 1, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.2-ish. Uh, so maybe an inflection point around here somewhere. I think 1.2. By five, I don't know. Point is, we're just estimating. Okay, we'll, we'll pick this one for time's sake. And kind of looks like this, right? Maybe right about here. I don't know. So we could try it. We can go along this here. And the more points we plot, the more accurate we'll get, obviously. But right here, uh, what, about one half? And we'll do one or two more, and then we'll... Uh, We'll let the let GeoGebra's magic happen here. So point, slope is zero, definitely critical number right here. All right? And so now derivative is negative. Negative almost, is it negative one? A negative one about here maybe. Okay, we'll go right below there and uh, yeah. Kind of like uh, maybe right about here. All right? Again, this is pure estimate. So now once I get a few points plotted, we could use the pen tool to try to sketch that derivative. I'm going to do the best I can here. Again, not going to be perfect, but we'll see how that looks. Okay, select it. And now, here's the ultimate test. If I uh, click on this point and show the label, I can show the label, see how that's A, the slope is M. So let's plot the point here in the calculator we can have students test it by graphing the point x, the x coordinate of a as typed that way, comma m. See, there's a gray point that just filled in right there, and as I move a, that point will uh, will move with it. So I'm going to click on that point, change the color, make it red. Ah, let's let's make it pink, All right? Make it really stand out. Now let's right click on it and show the trace. That's the key. Now watch this. You show the trace of that point, you could actually sketch a derivative. Look, ooh, look at that. That's cool, right? And now if we slowly drag A along, we can check to see how well we did in the estimate. And if your students could do this, practice with this, then definitely, um, they definitely, <clears throat> I would say, have a better conceptual understanding of what the derivative actually means. So you could use the resources here in this YouTube video description to uh, actively engage your students and even in GeoGebra Classroom. So I uh, hope this helps you, help your students.